All right. So in this case, what we have is a, we have half of a sphere, which we call a hemisphere. All right. Half of a sphere is a hemisphere. Okay. So. I'll just continue. Yeah, exactly. Isn't that amazing where those come from? So, um, in this example, they say the circumference of this hemisphere, of, you know, this hemisphere or the circle, is going to be 8 pi. Now, if we want to find the surface area, we need to first go ahead and look at the formula for surface area, which is simply 4 times pi times radius squared. So now, I just need to figure out what r is, right? Now, the also thing to remember, though, that's the surface area of a sphere. This is half of a sphere, correct? Mm -hmm. So I need to take whatever I get for the sphere and then divide it by 2. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So now, I need, since I know the circumference is 8 pi, I need to figure out what r is. Does anybody remember the formula for circumference? Or a formula for circumference? Two. Cricket, cricket, cricket. Pi times diameter, correct. What is the what can we rewrite as diameter? How does what is the diameter related to a radius? Two r, two r. So really, circumference you could also write as a lot of times we write this as two pi r. What was the one for like d one? That was for the area of a kite or a rhombus. Huh? What can't you see? So, um, so in this case, ladies and gentlemen. If we know the circumference is 8, can we figure out what pi or r is? Yeah. So all I'm going to do, Imani, is I'm just going to say 8 equals 2 pi r. Divide by 2, divide by 2, 4 equals pi times r. OK? Therefore, now, um, I'm sorry, pi times r, to find r, I just divide by. Um, Divide by r. Divide by pi. Thank you. So now I'm going to plug that into here. So I have surface area is 4 times pi. What did I lose you? This is given. You guys should know this. Circumference equals pi times diameter. Or circumference is 2 times pi times radius, because the diameter is 2 times the radius. If you want me to write it like this, I can. Pi times radius is the same thing as diameter. So it doesn't matter if I write it like this or if I write it like that. But the formula asks for the radius, not the diameter. So I write it like this so I can solve. Um, shoot, sorry. Sorry, I should write it like that. Circumference is pi times diameter. Or diameter is 2r. So instead of using diameter, I'm using 2r. So I put 2r in for d. Yep. Then our circumference, they tell us the circumference, which is 8 pi. Oh, that's where I made the mistake. It's 8 pi. So the circumference is 8 pi equals pi times 2r. So I divide by 2 pi. 4 equals r. So my radius of this sphere, hemisphere is 4. That's the radius I need here. So I plug in 4 squared divided by 2. Now I can square the 4, which is 16. Those divide to 2. So I'm left with 2 times 16 times pi. Well, 2 times 16 is 32 times pi. Now, what I simply need to do is just do 32 times pi. And I have 100.53. And again, since we're talking about, oh, I didn't tell you what that, uh, I didn't tell us our units. Um, well, let's call this units cubed. Since we're talking about volume, it's going to be cubed. Yes? Why are you dividing by 2 pi? I have to isolate the r, right? So you could divide by pi first and then divide by 2. But what is happening to the r? The r is being multiplied by pi, and it's being multiplied by 2. So you have to divide both of those to undo the multiplication. Why did you put d in the 
because that's what a student said circumference equals, which is correct. Circumference does equal pi times diameter. No, 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 I'm talking about like when you're the, the third one, it's like D equals pi to R. Because I don't want to solve for D. The formula is not looking for D. The formula is looking for R. So therefore, I go back and say, oh, well, D is equal just to 2R that you plugged in. Does that make sense? Yes. OK. Any other questions? Yeah, but then you're going to solve for D, and we don't need D. I mean, yeah, you could take D, and then whatever you get for D, just divide it by 2, because you know that's the radius, right? You could do it that way, too. OK? Like, yeah, if you just want to do this and just say, hey, 8 pi equals pi times diameter, divide by pi, 8 equals diameter. Oh, well, if 8's the diameter, then 4 is the radius, right? You could do it that way as well. OK, well, I'll, I'll take note of that.